Welcome back to another video on this lovely and cloudy Thursday or technically Friday since that's when you'll all be watching. Um, originally, I wanted to do a video today where I took you through my photo taking process from start to finish in kind of a real time view. I thought that'd be a pretty cool video and also a pretty good excuse to get out of the house since I get kind of bored making the videos just sitting here in my room all the time. So I wanted to do something different, but it is raining on and off today. And like I said in the last video, I do really want to try to get more consistent with my posts. So I decided to go with kind of a backup plan because I'd rather post something rather than nothing at all. So on to today's video topic, which is going to be motion blur. Ooh. Yeah, I know. It doesn't sound all that interesting. It doesn't seem like it could be a whole video topic on its own. But if you are like me and you watch a lot of travel content or any one of the top creators that are on YouTube right now, you might see a lot of hyperlapses or transitions or video effects that have kind of this motion in them that look like this, that just looks like there's an extra element of motion going on in their videos that make them seem a lot smoother than yours in particular. And if you're also like me when you watch these videos and you are extremely frustrated and don't know how to do this, you watched a bunch of tutorials on how to do the transitions or the hyperlapses and all that stuff, but you just can't seem to get that same look to your videos, then you've definitely come to the right video. And motion blur is definitely gonna be the thing to help you out today. Now, like I said, there are a ton of tutorials on the kinds of effects that I'm talking about here that this um, motion blur effect would be paired very well with, but very few of these tutorials actually go into detail or actually mention the fact that they add this effect into their videos. And personally for me, when I figured out how to do this effect, it made me so much happier with the results. Now, if you're a Premiere Pro user, you may be thinking, well, directional blur, that's gotta be one way to add motion blur into your video, right? And yes, you are right. You can add motion into your clips somehow or fake it by using the directional blur effect in Premiere Pro, but this is not that. So all you need to do to add this effect to your clips is to bring them first into After Effects. With the program open, make sure you take the video that you want to add this effect to and drag it into the timeline. Next thing to do after that is to go and search for the effect Force Motion Blur CC and apply this to the clip that you have in your timeline. And that's it. It's as simple as that really. The rest of the effect is done pretty much for you. All you have to do now is wait for the video to render out and you can watch the playback of your video or your clip and you can see that it's now a lot smoother. An example of when using this effect would work really well is in a hyperlapse. I'm using that one a lot because it's just very effective because there's usually a lot of motion going on in a hyperlapse. You're usually moving forward in one direction at the same time as something in the clip is moving or the sky is moving or something like that. People are moving and you're going to want to add motion blur into that clip that wasn't originally there before to make it look a lot smoother. If you want the motion blur to look even better, you're going to want to go into the effects control panel while you have the clip in your timeline selected and change this number right here from 8 to 30. And this has something to do about how After Effects copies the frames in the clip to add that motion blur effect. Jeez, I feel like I've said professionalism and effects so much in this video. This is why I need scripts to, to make these videos. And that's really all there is to it for adding motion blur to your clips. But don't underestimate this effect either just because it's so easy to do because it can be used in a lot of different ways, especially when you're using clips that have a lot of motion in them like hyperlapses, you guessed it of all things, or using speed ramps between hard cuts when you're moving around objects or something like that. And the end result will give you something really cool to work with. Okay, well, as always, if you like this video and you liked what I talked about in it, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content to come. If you had any questions about this effect or wanted me to go into detail because I knew, blah, 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 because I do know I kind of briefly go over these topics a lot because I try to keep these videos as short and to the point as possible for you guys, which means I can sometimes skip over things. So if you have any questions about that or comments or anything to add, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one. Um, but until then, Catch you guys later. All right, peace out. Get your line with your fog group with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the fields. Say, live it for the ears. I know that's how they like. Yeah, I fantasize. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I feel it. I let them hit the fear of a passive aggressive. And we black men with a passion. Steady grip.